Matthew chapter 3, Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan unto John the Baptist to be baptized of him. But John forbid him and said, uh, I need to be baptized of thee. And comest thou to me with a question mark. Jesus answered and said to him, Suffer it to be so now, which means allow it to be so now. For that, for thus it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him, which means that he baptized him. Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway out of the water, and the heavens were open unto him. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And a low voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So God himself established baptism, proved it through his own Son, Jesus Christ, that he would be baptized of someone else. And so when you follow in scriptural baptism, you are obeying the wishes of God upon your life after salvation. Amen? Uh, Romans chapter 6 explains what occurs at baptism. And baptism does not save your soul, by the way. It, it, is, show, it is a public showing of what Jesus did in your heart and in your life. Amen? So we said, what shall we say then in Romans 6, 1? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer there? Know you not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus, were baptized uh, into his death? Therefore, we're buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be planted in the resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth or afterward we won't serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. But if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more, so therefore death has no dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but that he lives, he lives unto God. Likewise, I reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you take your glasses off? There you go. Can you see who has your glasses? Yeah. All right. Amen. <laughs> What a great day. Amen. Amen. Maddie Bird, by your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.